Ladies and gentlemen, I just turned my wipers on with my elbow. Uh, we are. Oklahoma has been released today. Unlike some other players, I did not get early access. I don't think anybody really does. I think people are on the beta branch, and they play around with it. Uh, I am driving my Western Star 5700X with a load of teapots and other various kitchen things. Koa and Javius are joining me, and we're going to head for the first time into new territory. We are in, I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm assuming it's Rattan, but it could just be good old Rattan. And it's in, uh, we're on the border. We got to head down into Texas a little bit, and then we're going to be going into the panhandle of Oklahoma. And really, this is, Oklahoma is the only state that really has a panhandle, correct? Texas. Oh, it is the Texas panhandle, isn't it? So then what do they call the thing in Oklahoma? A dork? <laughs> we'll be driving into the dork of Oklahoma. <laughs> I have no idea what they call it. <laughs> and that's what this episode is going to be called. The Oklahoma, Oklahoma's dork. Uh, hey, there's a Hellcat. Or the, looks like the anti-aircraft version. I don't know if Javius is ready yet. No, he's probably not. I'm just going to swing her over here. and We're not going to get on the freeway yet. I have departed the rail yard. Okay, we are coming up on to the... Clayton Amarillo Interchange here. We passed under the freeway, or whatever that was, train bridge maybe. And so we get to see for the first time a little sneak peek of what the Midwest is going to look like. And I'm, I'm kind of excited. You know, Texas, I was going to be super disappointed with Texas because Texas is kind of boring to drive through in real life. Parts of it. Well, guess what? Guess what the rest of the country is going to be like. <laughs> Do you think Oklahoma is going to be that much different than Texas? Well, I was good, but I was going to say. Now, I was pleasantly surprised at how much I've enjoyed driving around the different parts of Texas. It goes pretty quick, and there's some real nice scenery areas, and I think they kind of did a good job, kind of covering what was good looking and still getting that Texas feel. So I have less concerns about the Midwest than I did. Honestly, driving out west is always going to be the most exciting because you've got all kinds of mountains and crazy landscape. And, and But the Midwest is the Midwest. and I'm going to try to hang about 10 under, guys, if that's cool. Obviously, our max speed is 65. We may hit that, but... Don't hold up for me. I got Mike in my sights. Okay. Well, this is odd. It's having us... I thought we'd get on the freeway here, but it's not having us do that. Maybe we're on the road we're supposed to be on. This is 64. We're heading towards some volcano. Did that say volcano? It said, like, Cham know. Champlin something or other. It looked like it said Volcano. We're heading towards Demois. Here's Ratten Creek. So I think all of this was already in the game. Because this is a Texas to, uh, I guess, what, New Mexico connector? Yeah, they, were, they, they added a couple of uh, sections of Texas couple days ago. Okay, so maybe it is fairly new. Look, why is my window down? It's like, man, it is really loud in my cabin. Well, that's... Alright, so I'm going to get over into the right lane. Of course you are. 
Now, the reason why I picked the 57X is because it has very big windows. I figured that would be good for scenic sightseeing all the, the sights of the planes. The open, flat <laughs> distances where another semi is visible 70 miles away. I felt like that about crossing uh, Kansas. Like when you get out past Wichita, we're slowing ahead, guys. Be careful. Um, there's almost like a fishbowl effect. I don't know how to explain it, but you can... Well... You can almost see the curvature of the Earth. <laughs> it's so flat. <laughs> like we saw, I remember, I do remember seeing, like I was, I'm joking about the semi truck, but there was a semi that was um, driving along some dirt road parallel to us. And I mean, it had to be 30 miles away. And it was kicking up this huge cloud of dust. And you can see this tiny little dot driving along, and eh, maybe 10 miles. But you can see this huge cloud behind it of all the dust that was kicking up. And it was just, it was crazy, like, how far you could, uh, how far you could see out there. So we're still in New Mexico, as far as I know. Yeah. I think Clayton, is, isn't that where we switch over and start heading towards Gayolm or Gayolm or Guolm or whatever it is? Our final destination. Ah. Uh, what happened? The stupid... Um... Speed limiter. No, oh. it's like this the radar on the on the uh, truck. Okay. If you get too close to another vehicle, it throws oh. your beep, turn beep, signals beep. on, makes you stop. Did it do that to you? Yeah. Now well, that's annoying. Um Yeah. This must be a regular job because I'm exceeding the sixty five. Oh really? Oh, I did do cargo market. Okay. So you yeah, didn't do right. exterior market. I forgot to do exterior, yeah. Does it matter to our taking stuff yeah. to Oklahoma? Crap. Yeah. Sorry. We'll Sorry. get that on the next one. Thankfully, this is a short one. Like, literally, we're crossing the border into the into the dork. And then, oh, yeah. uh, and then once we get into the dork, then the city's, like, right in the dork. Mid dork. Come on, stop. Okay, now we're oh. stopping. Stop doing that, Micah. Turn that thing off. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know what the setting is. Don't use cruise control. I'm not on cruise control. I'm driving manually. Oh, that sucks. And it oh, doesn't even then. They add automatic emergency braking. Yes. Okay. Because that's, that's a feature of the Volvo. Yeah. Well, this truck's going to be put right into the garage. <laughs> right into the. Well, if you want, do you want to? Do you want to take the lead once we get around this through this uh, the intersection? The He's slamming no. on the brakes. Give him the tail. Give the. Well, I'm just wondering because then it won't do that. Because you're not going to slam into me or or Javius. It, but it'll do it for every other vehicle that he comes across. Oh, on the that's road. so crazy. Did you guys all make it? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got our convoy. There's got to be some way to turn that off in the... in the. Huh. Well, when we get... When we, uh, do you want to pull over for a second and see if we can figure it out? No, I'm just letting the JVs pass. I'll, I'll take... I'll take the tail. The tail. <laughs> You can be road guard, okay? That's a motorcycle term. I thought it was first dead. 
<laughs> first. You know, usually that's the guy up front. Or the one that's weaving around between everybody. Look at how fast I can drive. <laughs> Facebook, Facebook with all their who's at fault videos. And the motorcyclist always yelling at the car drivers when he was the one that was going like 90 miles an hour through traffic. Yeah. <laughs> you cut me off, you jerk! I cut you off! I didn't even see you! You were going 120 miles an hour! Spec bike gone. That's how they work. They don't realize people can't see them that quickly. Mm. All right. I'm setting my my cruise. I think we made our turn. We must be in Texas already. I didn't see any like hoopla signs though saying "Welcome to Texas." But we made the left turn and we're on 412, which I think. Yep. That's the that's the one, right? Yeah. No, we're headed. Yeah, 56, 64, 412. So we are headed. Now we are headed into Oklahoma, where there's something. We can something, stay on something. the 412 all the way. To that's, guy, uh, guy that's all the way across the top. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you got your crew set at, Arthur? 6 0. Thank you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, you rat. We're stopping, guys. We're slowing. Oh, stupid bus. You don't need to tell Micah he'll slow automatically. <laughs> We're slowing, Javius. Oh, that's cool. Look at that grain elevator. That's definitely Midwest looking. And folks, you've seen it all. From Ohio to Illinois to Indiana, this is what it looks like. It does not. <laughs> yeah, each we state. got a couple of bridges. I... <laughs> Look, Ohio doesn't have curves in the road. <laughs> we do. I have to hit the... Somehow, I'm... there's a way station or something I gotta hit. The other right. Uh, to the right is where we're going. All right. All right. Oh. I don't this know where the way station is. That's our route. What city is this? Boise City. Huh. Heading towards Gaiman. That's, you think that's Gaiman or Goyman? Probably Gaiman. Good. Oh, there's a caboose. Oh, where? Back here. I missed it. There's a First Baptist Church. Does that say Aaron? It does. Aaron, yeah. A Aaron. A Aaron. <laughs> Plumbing. Aaron gas. Yeah. Way station, okay. There we go. I don't want to violate any laws. Sorry if I'm driving realistically. Which means slow. Ooh, frame rate drops. This is the only problem with the... Um, like hosting and recording at the same time, I found that uh, when I do the convoys and I and I record, it causes frame rate issues. And you offload the recording to another machine? I could. I just I haven't got that set up. Actually, no, I don't think I can. Well, maybe I can. I have to look into it because I record at two K. It gets a little weird, um, but I think. Why are my wipers back on? I think that um, uh, if I oh there we go. I think that if I use the HD the Elgato S, it's like the what is it called? I think it's just called the Elgato S, HD HD S or something like that. That one can record 4K. Um, but then I have to have my laptop set up. Uh, 
I may, I don't know. I mean, I may end up doing that in the long run. Tell you what, if I were ever to go full time, I would do that for sure. But right now, the amount of work it would take, because then you have to edit it from a different computer and like all this other stuff, and it's like there's a lot involved in that more than just doing the recordings. You have to you have to like mix the audio together and make sure it's all timed up right. So. I don't really know any about any of the particulars about how all that stuff works, but isn't most of that done on your video card? No. No? Because the video is going out from the card to the Elgato, and then the audio is a separate stream. Um, and that gets passed to the other computer, which then handles the recording process. But in, or, in your current setup... In my current setup, let's see. Yeah, the video just gets pulled off the card. Is uh, it putting extra work on the video card or extra yes, work on the CPU? Yes, correct. But supposedly, these video cards have enough cores on them specifically for that. Look, like, they build these like NVIDIA cards and the, and the ATI cards have them. They have a specific number of cores that are dedicated to just... Um, recording what you're playing. Sounds so, like 4090 then. Would you say? Sounds like you need a 4090 then. I, I shouldn't. No, because there if if you're having trouble in an old game or an old graphics like this, it's the game. It's not. It's bad. It's bad optimization. And if I so if I can play Star Citizen at sixty frames a second with no issues, and then I get in here and I'm having issues, it's it's the game. It's not the the hardware. So even if you up the hardware, you'll still probably have some stuttering issues. I used to have stuttering issues in this game, and farm sim, and some others, until I switched to my new card. Or newer card. Yeah. The uh, 7900 XT. All the graphics issues I used to have through the last three generations of NVIDIA cards, they all did it. And I don't have any problems anymore. What card did you end up getting? I had a 7900 XT. Cool. Once they came down to realistic prices. Right. <laughs> Reasonable prices. Not the $900 MSRP. It's crazy. If I had waited four or five months, I could have got it for 700 Ooh, they came down even more. I think you could get them at uh, Prime Day. That there or New Egg, you could get them for 700 Okay. We are in Gaiman. Gaiman. Welcome to Oklahoma. I didn't see any signs saying that, hey, you're in Oklahoma. Did you? No. Uh, they were probably stolen. The, by, <laughs> by the Okies? Probably, probably turned into Swiss cheese. Y that, yeah. A lot of, lot of shot up signs out, out here. I've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, even in Ohio, we get those. <laughs> Depending on what part of Ohio you're in. Yeehaw! Ping, ping, ping. You... Oh, who's got the city horn? <laughs> Get rid of that thing. I got them both. Got them both. So does it sound like a really old train engine when you blow them both at the same time? Can you blow them both at the same time? That's the question. Uh, never mind. Did you try? No. Kind of weird sounding. Once in a while you get those trains with the broken horn. Like one of the chimes is off. And it always sounds really creepy. Especially at night, it's like... <laughs> Most 
Most of them sound strong. Steam trains are a little bit... Like, I could see at nighttime that being a little bit unnerving. Because they sound a little bit... Well, they sound a lot more organic. Well, this is... Here's Oklahoma, folks. It's, wow, that was a really bumpy track right back there. Yeah. It's uh, it's kind of flat. The parts of, like I've been through. Well, that's not true. I've been through parts of Oklahoma that were hilly, but a lot of it is flat. I'm gonna, we're turning left here. I don't know. I just that was a really bad into the lane thing there. Jeez. Sorry. Bing. These what guys driving people? doubles think they just own the road. Yeah. When I drove across country from California to the East Coast, I think we went over to into Amarillo and then up to Oklahoma City. Okay. And checked into the motel. And five minutes later, checked out and we're gone. <laughs> Why was that? Because it was so was bad. The dirtiest, most disgusting motel I've ever seen. Really? Now, this was decades and decades ago, but... <laughs> we, what hotel chain? I don't even remember. Best it, Western. Uh, it was uh, was bad. I think we drove to Indianapolis. Or maybe it was... No, I think we drove up to St. Louis before you'd get killed for stopping there. <laughs> yeah, St. Louis is not great anymore, is it? Ugh. No. used to be cool go up in the arch I, the first time when I was okay granted this is the 70s but we're going somewhere here I think um that's yeah I think to the right there guys I just passed it I think that's it I just couldn't stop fast enough I didn't it didn't look quite right so I'm gonna have to loop around here How are we supposed to make this corner? I, <laughs> Over the curb like I did. <laughs> I watch him do it all the time. You tagged him, Micah. I didn't see anything. I, what are you talking about? Tag what? <laughs> that was beautiful. Um, doot, doot, doot. Clear. I'm clear of the intersection. All right. Where are you going there, Mr. Micah? I'm backing in right here where these these trailers are. Gotcha. I'll wait till you guys are done. Do you want, James? You want to pull around because I got I think I got to stop at the same spot. Or if you want to pull forward or whatever, that's fine. This guy's let me go. Oh, now you're gonna make it harder. <laughs> Just make I a big U-turn. I was gonna back out. Oh, uh, but you pulled in to the way, so. I'm, and my mobile wall is kind of disagreeing with you, yeah. And, uh, there's a no turn. You can't drive around the building, so. Great. What they'll do with me is they'll flip me around the other way, so then I'll be facing out. Really? I think so. Yeah, they usually do. We should be in here, like Flynn. But I, I pulled in there, and it did not flip me around. The following key to stop the engine. There you go. 
Maybe that's a special setting that you've got. Oh my! It did. It did. Okay. Is it because you have doubles. Yeah. Does it make you special. It, I am special. Yeah. You could have actually made the U-turn though with those things. I know. This is the funny part. It, it, it... <laughs> Do you want me to get out of here? I'll let me get out of the way. Hang on. No. Like, no. Way there. Under pressure. Um, Might take off um, here, but. Uh, um. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> it's not like I'm going to scratch your real paint. Scratch me paint. Are you looking to see if you can shut that crap off, Mr. Micah? I Dis disable you know, safety really system. Sure. It's probably under gameplay. I'll help you find it. I just once I, I was gonna end this video once James gets out. I just wanna, you know, roll my most beautiful truck through the camera shot, so that's why I'm doing this. There we go. Look at that gorgeous truck. Oh it's yeah, like me. It's what? It's vintage, like me. <laughs> oh wow, you just passed through that magic gate. It opened. It opened. Oh, it didn't open on my screen. Bummer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of American Truck Simulator, where we explored the dork of Oklahoma. See you in the next exciting episode. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Bye.